the Upanishads in two parts. Part one, translated by F. Max Muller. Aitareya, Aranyaka, first Aranyaka, third Adhyaya, eighth Kanda. He extends these verses by interpolating the sound. Verily breath, prana, is sound. Therefore every breath, when it sounds, sounds loud, as it were. The verse, 869. Nadam vaudadinam, and so on, is by its syllables, and ushne, by its feet, and anushtub. Ushne is life, anushtub, speech. He thus places life and speech in him, the sacrificer. By repeating the first verse three times, they become twenty-five. The trunk is the 25th, and the pragapate is the 25th. There are ten fingers on his hands, ten toes on his feet, two legs, two arms, and the trunk, the 25th. He adorns that trunk as the 25th. Now this day consists of 25, and the stoma hymn of that day consists of 25. It becomes the same through the same. Therefore, the two, the day, and the hymn are 25. This is the 25th with regard to the body. Next, with regard to the light beings, the eye the ear, the mind, the speech, and breath. These five entities, powers, have entered into that person, Parusha, and that person entered into the five entities. He is wholly pervaded there, with his limbs to the very hair and nails. Therefore all beings to the very insects are born as pervaded by the entities or senses. This has been declared by a Rishi. Rick that up ten hundred fourteen eight. A thousand fold are these fifteen hymns, for five arise from ten. As large as heaven and earth, so large is it. Verily the self. Kivatman is as large as heaven and earth. A thousand fold are the thousand powers. By saying this, the poet pleases the hymns, the senses, and magnifies them. As far as Brahman reaches, so far reaches speech. Wherever there is Brahman, there is a word. And wherever there is a word, there is Brahman. This was intended. The first of the hymns among all those hymns has nine verses. Verily, there are nine pranas, openings, and it serves for their benefit. Then follows a hymn of six verses. Verily, the seasons are six, and it serves to obtain them. Then follows a hymn of five verses. Verily, the pankte consists of five feet. Verily, pankte is food, and it serves for the ganging of proper food, then follows a tristich. Three are these threefold words, and it serves to conquer them. These verses become brahatis, and that meter being immortal, leading to the word, uh, the world of the devas, that body of verses, is that trunk of the bird represented by the whole sastra. And thus it is. He who knows this comes by the way, by making these verses of the trunk of the bird, near to the immortal self, yea, to the immortal self. So, the first Aranyaka, the third Adhyaya, the eighth Kanda, has fourteen tristiches, and each foot of the trish tube has eleven syllables. To which seven are added from the Nada hymn. This gives 18 syllables for each pada. Two padas therefore give 36 syllables. This is a brehati. In this manner, the 23 verses of the hymns yield 46 brehatis. He obtains a birth among the entities by means of this Mahavrata ceremonial if performed with meditation and a right understanding of its hidden meaning. Now, this is relating to the immortal self because. You know, these light beings, just like in Kabbalah, you know, are Islam or various other teachings, is that, you know, the loyal host of divinity, um, the various parts of your body refer to them and they uh, are in line with them in various ways and connecting to these various qualities and then 
you know, this carries on to an afterlife, of course. Um, the interpolating of the sound, well, not that you're changing the scripture, it's just you're responding to the sacred things as they're going on. Now, you don't have to just interject and stuff all the time. I certainly do rituals and uh, ritual meditations and stuff like this where I do respond in English to verses that aren't English, but, you know, um, so one, three, five, one. Each pada has seven syllables, the third only six, but a seventh syllable is gained by pronouncing the Y as I because it has four padas, the Anush, the Ushne and the Anushtubba. Okay. The commentator takes a different sense to oh the pervading by the light beings explaining atra there as the body pervaded by the person yet afterwards stating that all beings are born pervaded by the senses the commentator explains ukta hymns as members or organs they are five and they spring from the ten i.e from the five elements earth water fire wind and ether forming a part of the father and mother each, and therefore called ten, are a decade. The sata is explained by buta dasakat, the application of the senses to a thousand different objects. Each foot of the trish tube, eleven syllables, which have... Seven added from the Nada hymn. This gives 18 syllables for each pada. Two padas, 36 syllables, and thus the Brihat. A matter of 23 verses of the hymns yield 46 Brihats. Um, so it wasn't just a musical style when they figured the numbers that they composed things in, or that they divided the verses into when there was actual some sort of revelations, like how are you going to record this information that's passed to us um it was also there was symbolism to the numbers themselves